Oh, hey there everybody, welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Donkey Kong 64, and you'll never guess what I found. I found, um, after I cut out last time, I did some searching around this area, and I found the last battle arena. Let's go have a gander at what we have to fight against. Shockwave Showdown! Oh god, it's gonna be these guys. Well, it's not so bad. At least we can kind of keep them at bay. Oh dear, they're separated. That's not good. Shockwave Showdown, I imagine it's going to have lots of these cursed black guys. The thing that worries me is we have 90 seconds, which is quite significant to go deal with these guys. So, I'm just going to have to keep him at bay. So far, this is a lot easier than doing it with any other Kong, because Diddy is really fast. He can really move around and kick these guys in the balls really easily. Whereas I remember with Chunky, I had a bit of trouble because I kind of had to keep him together because he's not moving. He does not move fast, is what I meant to say. So, luckily, oh my god, I almost fell off. Another thing I like about Diddy is he sends these guys flying pretty far, so it's not that hard to keep them all kind of around, but. The thing about this is that last time, a third... Oh my god, someone else is showing up, showing up on me. Oh my god! Oh, holy fuck! Oh, 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 no, 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 no! Oh, oh! Three, three of those shock dudes. No wonder it was called Shockwave. Oh my god. But we did it! We did it, we completed it. I haven't found those banana fairies yet, but I feel confident that they will show up before I go do anything super serious end of game related. Anyway, on the last episode we were against a radical timer to get the uh to get the blastomatic machine or whatever it's called. K Rule's big laser thing he was gonna destroy Donkey Kong Island with away and we did we had lots of time to spare and now we are gonna go up the stairs and chase after that K roll we he had some sort of machine or something I don't know what it was but either way it seemed to spell trouble for us and these are the two coins I collected one of them I got from doing oh I hear the fairies in this room one of them I got, okay, this one, this pain in the ass coin, I got from completing the Donkey Kong arcade game. It took a while, but I felt so good to do it. What the? Did I just look through the door? Oh yeah, I can totally see through the door. Huh, that's pretty cool. Anyway, and the other one I got from the jetpack game. And I got both. So I guess the door opens. Huh, they were mandatory after all. We got the last key for Clumsy's cage. And also, now we have to take two final pictures. That flash green. Nope. Alright. No? Aw, oh, damn. I must have moved it out of focus the last second. Come on, this is the last. Did I get both at once? Well done, Diddy. You rescued all of the fairies. Now come back and see me. Okay. Huh, I guess I got both at the same shot. That's pretty cool. Alrighty, and now we have a bunch of faces of me. Hmm. Well, it seems the only thing left to do is to... What do I have to do here? Do I have to shoot my face again? Let's try it again. Hmm. I don't know. 
Either way, I do want to see what happens when we free Clumsy, and I do want to see the fairy, so I will meet you guys back in this room after we do go take care of some stuff outside, so see you guys at Clumsy's cage. Okay, a bit of change in the order. I wanted to visit the fairy queen first. The banana queen. Tiny, oh tiny, you did it! All rescued banana fairies and restored peace to Banana Fairy Island. Thank you. I can now reveal our secret. Okay. What's behind the door? Is that a giant banana? Tiny, thanks once again. Banana Fairy Kingdom is eternally grateful to you and your friends. I already have bananas, though. The 201th banana. Cool. Is there anything else in here? Nope, that's it. Huh, so I guess you can get more than 100% in this game. Like any Donkey Kong Country game. Most Donkey Kong Country games... Well, I guess it's not Donkey Kong Country, but... Most Donkey Kong games have more than 100%. Donkey Kong Country 1, you got 100. And 1. 100. Donkey Kong Country 2, you got 102. And Donkey Kong Country 3, you have 103%. I mean, 105%. Anyway, let's go visit Clumsy and see what the key does. Hopefully, because I didn't see any way to get to K. Rule in that last room. So hopefully, this last key allows us to access the final boss. You're free! Yay, you're free! Now go attack Japan. Oh, now what's going on? Yeah, it looks like getting both those coins was mandatory, so good thing I did it after all. I wasn't gonna get the, the jetpack game coin after all, but I decided to. Come on, K. Rule. Don't escape now. You're probably my final boss. This is kind of silly. Oh no! And K. Rule crashes. Okay, I guess I better go outside and see what was the matter. Um. Wherever they crashed. Probably on the other side of the island. Yep. Here we have Clumsy. Oh, no, this is the thing. Alright, let's see what we have here. Oh my god. This is a boxing ring? And a mic? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the main event of the game. We bring you 12 three minute rounds of boxing for the undisputed heavyweight championship of DK Island. Brought to you this evening by Rare and Nintendo in association with Cable Enterprises. Introducing the Kong family. Okay. Versus King Crusher K. Rule. I actually didn't expect this. This was literally the last thing I would have ever expected. <laughs> Boxing 
gloves. <laughs> this, this judges at ringside are non-existent, and your timekeepers tonight will act in a fair and unbiased manner. Okay. Okay, so we got Kremlings being our timekeepers. Let's hope they will. Waiting in at a solid 800 pounds, I missed the rest of it, is Donkey Kong. King K. Rule. Round one. Oh dear. Okay, so... Okay, so I can't touch him. Okay, we got barrels. Okay, so we can climb the ringside. So I guess we have to hit him four times. Okay, so that doesn't work. Oh, I bet I know what I have to do. I'm guessing I probably have to do that four times now. And I'm gonna have to do something similar with every Kong, probably. Let's go over here, keep going around until he keeps cheering. Hey, he was cheering, and then suddenly he stopped. This is bullshit. And miss again, no big deal. There we go. Got him off guard. Okay, so... I guess, oh my goodness. So I guess we have until the end of the round to beat him. Oh my goodness. It's getting harder and harder to catch him off guard and I can't simply trade anymore. He's leaving less spots open. There we go. Get him one more time. Gotta get him one more time. As Donkey Kong. I can only assume. Okay, I was about to go there. Good thing I didn't. Okay, I shouldn't have gone there. He's not even paying attention to me. Oh, there we go. Knockout. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What? And now, making his way into the ring, it's the champ of chimps. Diddy Kong. Okay, so I guess I have to beat him in each of the rounds as one of the Kongs. Okay, luckily my health gets refilled, so I kind of like that. Oh my goodness. Okay, so his attack is switching up now. Okay. Oops. What do I have to do now? Do I have to knock down these lights? Oh, I just probably, yeah, there we go. Oh, there we go. These things have targets on them. 
And he can totally get me out of the air. So I guess I have to keep moving. This one has only two targets. I imagine as I go, there's going to be more. There we go. Okay. I got it. Now I know what to do is Diddy. Okay, where's the next one? I guess it's going to be the next one he's under. So this one here. There we go. This is a fun boss fight, I have to say. I, I really do. I mean, when the boss fight first kinda showed up, I was a little bit like, sort of a WTF kinda, kinda reaction, as you guys probably guessed by my what the fuck kinda attitude towards it. But, yeah, this is really cool. I do like the whole round thing. Ah oh, ho don't hit me, please. Ow, oh, no. Come on. Oh, there we go. One more to hit. I think. Yep. Dude. I got one. And I'll use his glove boost to get me over to the other one. There we go. Bong. Alright, Diddy's is clear. I think. Yep, the end of the round. He doesn't get knocked out. Good. Alright, next up. He boasts the longest reach in currently the world today. Introducing... Lanky Kong! Round three. Fight. Alright, now what's his attack going to be? Oh, he can't see. What do I have to do now? Oh, that's what. Oh, okay, he's just kind of blindly walking around the ring. There's two. Three. I really like how Lanky's arm just like sticks out sticks way out there. Oh, these are timed. Come on. There we go. One. No. Two. Does that reset if I get hit? No. Nope. It just takes more time to do this. Three. And hopefully the first one doesn't reset yet. Ah, oh, shit. Two. Three. No! Oh damn it, it reset again. Ah ha ha, okay. This is hard, harder than it looks. Two. Three. And one more, please work. Four, fuck. Not working. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait around and hit the one again. I think getting hit is resetting these. So I'm just not gonna get hit. Fuck. 
Yeah, getting hit is what's resetting these. It's not the time. Two. No! Oh, son of a bitch. I don't have enough time to re try this one. Hopefully I can restart the round over again and don't have to start over from the very beginning of the fight. Please? You have to do better than that, Lanky. Back in my day, I went off big one bag out of the first round, dazzle a little cranky magic. Cranky's my corner guy? Oh, I have to go into the second round. Okay. And Cranky falls over. Okay, so we go into the next round. So I guess this is just sort of how many rounds you can last, really. There's one. There we go. Three. And whoa. Which way are you going? What? What's going on? Oh, I see. What is this that I have here then? Oh, it's a giant banana peel. <laughs> okay, I see. That actually took a lot of damage. Okay, I understand what I need to do now though. I see what I have to do now. It's not hitting the switches. Doing this just makes a barrel pop up that has a banana peel in it. Okay, and then you just have to simply time where he is, make him run towards you, and step on the banana peel. Makes sense, I suppose, except I missed my opportunity to get him on that one. Hey, I'm over here. Come over here. That took me way too long to figure out what to do. Oh no, the banana peel went away. Damn it. Okay, that actually really sucked. I did not expect the banana peel to just disappear like that. It's actually kind of a dawn. I assume Gabriel was going to run that way, so... Come this way! This time, actually step on the banana peel. <laughs> oh, Gabriel uses. Or, I'm running out of time. And I only have one hit left to take, so... I don't think I'm going to be successful. Up. Oh, oh damn. He's gonna not go cooperatively. Hey, okay, come here. Step on the banana peel. I don't think I'm gonna have enough time to do the last one though. Or maybe you only have to hit him three times. Ah uh, no, there's the last one. I'm gonna have to go into round five.
Well, I almost did it. Oh, it's a good thing he went into round five when he did, otherwise I probably would have lost that. <laughs> Just because I would have got hit. Alright, ding ding ding. Round five, go. I wonder if I have to restart this over again. How many watermelons do I have? Only a quarter. Yeah, I have to restart everything over again. That's a bit of a pain. There we go. Grab the banana peels. I actually kind of guessed that he was going to be right there. That was actually a really blind shot in the dark. Oh my goodness, he missed the banana peel. What an idiot. Now I'm going to die. I'm probably going to have to restart again. You've got to be fucking kidding me.